Hey indie game fans, this video is brought to you by Mass Builder by developer Vermilion Digital. Commander, customize and build your mechanical assault skeleton suit in this mech focused action game where you have to fight against the alien threat. Other than simply beautiful visuals, the mech customization looks quite intensive from color options and even down to very granular details on the weapons. So if you're a fan of Gundam, keep an eye on this. I love giant mechs myself, so of course this made all the sense in the world, but do note that it is currently in early access on Steam and the developer is looking for community feedback as development progresses, so if any of this looks good to you, jump in today. This week marks the launch of the Switch Lite, the Sega Genesis mini console and Apple Arcade, so perhaps more on the hardware and services front, and correspondingly, the AAA side of things have cooled down a little after the launch of Borderlands 3. However, many people are still looking forward to the remake of Link's Awakening on Switch with a fancy new art style which I do quite like myself. On the indie game front, while we don't exactly have something on the scale of Blasphemous, some long-awaited titles are releasing as well, adding to the very stacked month of September. So here are the top 5 best new releases of the week. Don't Give Up A Cynical Tale is a comedic take on the JRPG set in a real-world context but examining the realities of social interaction, personal growth and confronting your inner demons. While it's a little meta in that the protagonist is a mentally ill game developer trying to find success while fending off common manifestations of his own inner demons, I find this to be particularly relatable both I guess as a millennial and as a YouTube creator since issues like imposter syndrome and anxiety are far too common in this day and age due to the realities of the world. I really like the pixel art, giving me a little bit of that Undertale vibe and there is a fresh real-time combat system that appears to have some elements of rhythm games as well. Whatever it is, the cast of quirky characters and the writing seems very pleasant, so hopefully we can all get a couple of laughs out of this. It all begins with a miracle. Birth. You arrive here with the purest of hearts, beautiful and innocent. A guiding light that unfolds new paths. But then, your eyes open to the world around you unknown and dark. The Sojourn is an absolutely beautiful first-person puzzle game reminiscent of Myst or even The Witness. Ultimately a story about light, darkness and the nature of reality, it sure seems like quite the pensive experience as you wreck your brain trying to traverse and solve the puzzles in this world. I have to be honest here, the pretty visuals are what caught my attention and hey, I could always go for a well-made puzzle game with a little bit of a meta-narrative as well. The world around you is not what it seems. A world only a few dare to seek out. In this sojourn, Oh. 
Finji's Overland has long been in development and has been playable via itch.io, but I too was waiting for the 1.0 official release. A post-apocalyptic road trip across the United States, this has both survival game elements where you scavenge for supplies, as well as a turn-based tactics portion where you take on all manner of mutant creatures. This also has some roguelite elements in that every level, roadmap, and characters are procedurally generated, hopefully giving you that one more run gameplay loop. What I find interesting is that every decision that you make has a consequence, such as rescuing a survivor means a higher food requirement, so this is primed for close calls hard choices and dramatic moments, all cleverly created due to the systems in place. Crying Suns featured in one of my videos on upcoming pixel art indie games, and of course, the visuals are the standout element here. However, this is a space fleet management rope light, inspired by sci-fi classics such as Doom, Foundation, and Battlestar Galactica. Playing as successive clones of the best Imperial Admiral to ever command a fleet, fight your way through the chaotic clusters of the Empire on a quest to reawaken the Omnis, god-like machines who did everything for their human masters but mysteriously shut down, leading to the near extinction of the human race. The mix of 2D art and 3D voxels, together with the ample use of silhouettes, gives this quite an interesting look, plus the fact that this is a roguelite tactics game make it quite unique. Command fleets of ships on a hex grid in real time with pause combat, so certainly very interested in this. It's a lovely morning in the village, and you are a horrible goose. The premise of Untitled Goose Game will immediately resonate with anyone who has been near Keys before, and looks to continue the tradition of funny animal simulator games. While Goat Simulator was more on the absurd physics -y stuff, this game seems to be more puzzle and objective focused and has you being a real jerk of a goose, disrupting the peaceful lives of the townspeople. Don't be a jerk in real life, but in a game as a goose, go right ahead. For more upcoming indie game new releases, check out the previous video or click on the recommended playlist and I will see you after the jump.